Hey, what is going on everyone? JB here with another political video. Today we're going to be talking about what happened in Alabama with, you know, the districting going on and how they're not following what the Supreme Court has said. Be looking into what the Supreme Court said exactly and why they said it and looking at what the results could be of this lack of following the rules. Let's get right into it. If you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's get right into it. So first things first. Alabama Republicans are refusing to draw a second black congressional district in defiance of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court basically said that uh, Alabama officials were being ordered to redraw the state's congressional map to allow an additional black majority district to account for the fact that the state is 27% black. Now, I don't know um, who's, I haven't looked at my analytics for a while, so if anyone here is watching that's not in America, um, there's a lot of history stuff and those reasons and different things with different people of different ethnicities and different cultures happen to vote in certain ways sometimes, right? And when it comes down to this, uh, it has been determined that the you know black people in Alabama in this area, th if they don't have uh, you know, districting in a certain way, they're not going to get their vo voice really heard for issues that impact them specifically or that they feel impacted them specifically. So with this happening, uh, as 27% of the population, they should have another region. I believe it was, uh, the, the, I think it was like seven regions in Alabama. So it would make sense for them to have more than just one region at the minimum. Uh, so yeah, it definitely makes sense to me for that. Um, based on the population density, of course, there's other reasons that they can look into different like socioeconomic statuses and different other things. So so many things need to be taken into uh, to determine what determines how a, like, you know, a district should be made. Um, but obviously, the Supreme Court has ruled that they need to make another congressional district. So it's not like there's just people that are saying, we need to do this right now because, you know, um, people, these people have been disenfranchised over and over and over. It's like, it's not like some like, like weak statement where it's like, you know, this thing happened in this other state to black people, so now we need to do this. It's literally, the Supreme Court's like, yo, in Alabama, this is an issue, right? Ignoring any other outside factors of what's going on in other states, in Alabama, this is an issue. This is specifically an issue for this, these, you know, Black Americans in this community in Alabama. They're not getting a fair shake of being able to vote for what they want, right? So obviously, it seems like that is an issue. And the Supreme Court, which is very much sort of more so sort of right leaning currently, even they are saying that this is an issue. So it, it seems pretty apparent that this is an issue. So Alabama Republicans on Friday defied a U.S. Supreme Court order by passing a new congressional map that includes only one majority of Black community. I uh, sorry, district. The GOP controlled legisl legislator had called a special session to redraw an earlier map, and the Supreme Court reaffirmed a federal court to order to include two districts where black voters make up a voting age majority or something quite close to it. Right? Um, the new district is only 40% black. Those, the, the new drawn up one it is. Only one majority black seat, and the second district has 40% black uh, in it. So, obviously, this isn't fair. When, it, when the Supreme Court's saying it needs to be two districts or something quite, quite close to it, that, for me, is thinking 70% or more people in that section are of African American or black, right? Um, so when you're not doing that, you're in direct violation of the court, of the court right? You're in direct violation of the Supreme Court. Passed 75-28 vote. I have said voted 24-6 to 6 in favor of the revised map. Uh, Republican Governor... K.I.V. sent the redistricting map into law Friday night, saying, Following the U.S. Supreme Court order, I, the Alabama legislator, into, into a special session to readdress our congressional map. I.V. said in a statement after signing the measure, Legislator knows our state or people in our districts better than the federal courts or activist groups, and I am pleased that they answer the call, remain focused, and produce new districts ahead of the court deadline. So this is just not true. Obviously, it, there is a lot of merit to saying that a state knows its, its people better than the federal government, right? But this isn't like activists that are doing this. This is the they're saying the federal courts don't know it. I don't think your districts really know better than the federal courts might because the Supreme Court literally these are like the people that like we that you know has been have been chosen by like to be, to be in this position right. Uh, but you just like how the process of how they actually get put into the position is one thing. That's a whole other topic we could talk about. However, these this is a pretty right leaning currently. It's a right leaning Supreme uh, Supreme Court, and even again, I, I already said this. Even they're saying this is an issue, right? Um, so yeah, you you should probably be looking into this, and I think this is just dis pretty disgusting that they're just ignoring this because it's not like this is just coming out of nowhere. They're not just making stuff up. It's 
population base. I'm sure there's socioeconomic status as re as a reason. There's all, I'm sure there's also different other things that are co like congealing into this reasoning of having this extra, um, you know, zoning thing going on. Democrats have slammed the map and strapped or again the legislators ignored a corridor and that the map continued the basis history of voter suppression. Yeah, I definitely think it could be voter suppression. Again, I I don't I personally don't work in a field where I am making maps for voting. However, I know there's a lot of, again, I've said many times, there's a lot of different things that factors that play into it, and race is definitely one with the history that, you know, certain places have, right? There was never any intent in, the, uh, in, to the, in this building to apply with their quarter state uh, rep uh, representative Chris England, a Democrat from Tuscaloosa. That's a funny name. Uh, there's never any intent to apply with the voting rights act. Yeah, they definitely need to fix that. So my kind of whole stance of this is, listen to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said that you have to do this thing. I understand state rights is a thing, but this you, you're literally in violation of an order. You need to be doing this. It's not a majority of, of one. It's, it's, it literally says they need to be say one or something quite like close to it. 40% is not even close to it. I believe it's going to be like every 1 in 15, um, like statistic-wise, every 1 in 15, like uh, like the times that the, the districts will be voting, that, that district will get the black voice heard, which is pretty bad. You need to be focusing on, you know, Again, my big point because what this comes down to is it's not like oh yeah they 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 want to make it there so because you know uh, they want to keep like the the votes going to the Democrats or like it's not that it's not gerrymandering like that it's gerrymandering what the Republicans are doing here in my opinion because we we we've seen that even the Supreme Court they, again I I haven't looked into the full studies of what the reasoning I I don't know all the full reasonings why they're doing this redistricting however. I'm very confident in saying the Supreme Court, currently a right-leaning Supreme Court, if they, even them, right, who have the incentive to get more Republicans in places, if they're even realizing that there's an issue there, I think that says something. So any kind of thoughts on this? Let me racing down below. I think I think this is something that we should probably focus on. I really think gerrymandering is bad. I don't know if there's ever going to be a way to get rid of gerrymandering. Um, unless they, because even if you did it randomly, like randomly just like slicing it up, you're sure going to have an issue. Maybe something like this could be like a task, like put into like really good minds or an AI that like does it without bias, but even then AI can't have bias. So it's, it's, it's a hard situation to try to figure out what to do. Let's find your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. Love you all so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye everybody. Peace, peace.